Well, people, we've got an amazing dish for you today. We're going to be making buffalo meat sauce for spaghetti. Yes, you heard it, buffalo meat sauce for spaghetti. Now, buffalo is just the most amazing meat to cook with. So in order to make this, you're going to need one pound of buffalo, a quarter cup of parsley, it's already chopped, two cups of mushrooms, one large onion diced up, olive oil, maple syrup, bay leaf, and we also have a little bit of oregano and thyme. We've also got some chopped tomatoes and we've already got canned tomato paste, very easy. And of course, you can't move garlic because garlic is good for your breath. You want people around, perhaps. So there's all of our ingredients we need to make this beautiful dish. So let's begin. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to heat up the olive oil in a small pan. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of garlic and one large onion. And I'm gonna drop the one pound of buffalo in right away, so. There we go, as you can see, it's absolutely beautiful, beautiful meat. So you don't have to cook it very long, it cooks very quickly. So once you've added the buffalo, you see it's not completely cooked, you can begin adding your other ingredients. It's not an absolute that it has to be completely cooked. So we're gonna add some of our other ingredients. There we go. We have our bay leaves, our dried basil, and fresh parsley. And we've got mushrooms. It says two cups, but I'm just approximating. So we'll let that all cook together. The other great thing about the buffalo is that it doesn't have a gamey taste. A lot of meats have a gamey flavor if they're wild like the buffalo, but it doesn't. It tastes, it, it tastes a lot like beef. And once you've added all of the ingredients, you're going to add some chopped tomatoes. And then I'm just adding just a simple can of tomato sauce. So you know what? All you moms at home are like, oh, that's pretty easy. I could make it. Yeah, you could. It's so easy. So while I'm going to let this simmer for just a few minutes, I'm now going to work on the spaghetti squash. A lot of people are intimidated by spaghetti squash because it's sort of a little bit of a weird food. So this is the spaghetti squash. They come in different sizes. You can buy them at a lot of grocery stores. I'm going to mix whole wheat pasta and spaghetti squash. So if people are a little bit weird about the spaghetti squash, hey, the whole wheat pasta is a nice bridge. There we go. So I've cut the spaghetti squash in half. Not so easy, that's the only hard part of this meal. And you want to take out all the inside of the spaghetti squash. Okay, so if you look at the spaghetti squash, you get already get the teeny weeny little fibers in there. Those are actually going to be little strands of spaghetti. And if you don't tell your kids you're cooking spaghetti squash, I'm not saying lie, I'm just saying withholding information. They really can't tell. So you're going to fill this up full of water, and I know this is crazy, but you're going to put it into a bowl and put a little bit of water in, put some basic clear cling wrap over it, and you put it in the microwave for 10 to 12 minutes, and I'm not kidding, it's done. So now that this is done, through the miracle of television, a little seed in there, I'm going to scoop this out and we're going to start to fry it. So you're going to throw some olive oil in, and you're going to put just a touch of garlic, and you're gonna take your big gigantic scraper and you're just gonna scrape the spaghetti squash out. And you can see, if you look here, it's already turning into strands. As you can see, I'm frying it up. It's turning into a nice kind of shredded look and I'm gonna just take a little bit of maple syrup just to sweeten it up a touch. There we go. So now it's just frying up. Smells really, really good. Now the trick to this is I have already prepared whole wheat pasta and I'm actually going to add it directly into this. And this is if you have people who are a little bit afraid of change, but you got to make it healthy. We got to eat healthy. I'm committed to being healthy this year. And basically we're ready to serve this meal. I hope you're hungry because I am. Now that we finished making this buffalo sauce for spaghetti with spaghetti squash, I'm ready to try it. I don't know about you, but I am really hungry, so this is a hearty meal, a very hearty meal. And you don't have to sacrifice the fun of spaghetti. Mmm, 